What do you think? Would you clean this homemade needlepoint, many years old, sentimental value, with all the risks that comes with it? Well, let's take a look, see what you think. The question today is, would you risk cleaning this needlepoint? This came to us recently from a customer in our area. It's, there are four pieces that were made many, many years ago by someone in the family. You can see they're all floral by design, multicolored, all slightly different. Um, customer brought them to us, asked, them, asked us what we thought. And as we, we mentioned to everybody is there's always risk with cleaning. Not just cleaning the base fiber, which is here, but also all this different colored wool. There's always a risk with cleaning that. Something special about this piece is that everything you see here, all this backing material, is nothing but regular cardboard boxes that have been cut up and used for a semi-rigid frame for these pieces. It's been stretched, the fabric here has been stretched around the cardboard and woven in this cotton thread. And then to secure it again, what you, all these marks you see right here, which have come on the front here, up here, here, these are all simple staples, just from a staple gun. So there are many risks with cleaning this, no matter how you clean it, water-based detergents or solvent-based or a combination, which is what we do a lot of here. Um, you could rust these and they can create rust marks if you use water-based detergents. You could put enough liquid on this fabric to bleed through to the cardboard and take the lignans out of the cardboard and they could bleed and leach up into the face and that might never be correctable. To eliminate that, you could take all of this apart, staple it to a piece of plywood that's been treated with polyurethane, clean it and then put it all back together extremely expensive to do that. Getting it back together like this would take many, many, many hours. Probably not worth it. What we're most likely going to do is opt to do a, a gentle, several gentle solvent cleanings, which are dry cleanings. And when I say gentle, I mean we won't be very invasive. We won't spray the solvent directly on onto this piece. We would put it on buffing pads or cloths and agitate it in after removing the dry soils. Any questions? We Leave them below in the comment section. We appreciate you watching. Again, if you love needle points, just follow this page and um, we'll have more up-to-date information. Would you clean it? And sometimes we'll even have a do-it-yourself video about how to clean. Thanks for watching. So what do you think? Would you clean something like this? Would you risk it if it was yours and you wanted to preserve it for future generations? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget, subscribing to our channel will keep you up to date on needlepoint and other fine fabric cares. Thank you.